to our channel. Today I would like to share with you a message from the TiVo December titled Learn to Laugh, Don't Be Too Serious. Today's memory verse is taken from Psalm chapter 126 verses 1 and 2. Now I would like to take today's memory verse from the Amplified Version and then the King James Version to the Bible. The Amplified Version says, when the Lord brought back the captives who returned to Zion, we were like those who dreamed. It seemed so unreal. Then were our mouths filled with laughter and our tongues with singing. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. Now to the King James Version. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, the Lord had done great things for them. Now when someone is reading this, and he gets to the past, then was our mouth full of laughter. The person may ask himself, what was funny at that moment that caused them to laugh? But that's not the case. It's not every time that something is going to be funny that is going to make you laugh. You get it. They were able to laugh because the anointing of the victory made them to laugh. They had already known that God had done it for them. According to the Savior, the Lord had done great things for them. They took knowledge God had done great things for them. And if you look at that same verse again, there was a mouth filled with laughter and a tongue with singing. You realize that there's something that comes before singing, which is what? Laughter. <laughs> you always know the mouth to be singing and then you forget the first part, laughter. This shows you how important laughter is. You're supposed to laugh from your spirit. It didn't say and you're filled with smiles or with light chuckles, that kind of or a smile. You're filled with laugh, that kind of <laughs> that kind of laugh. You're laughing from their spirit. Filled with so much joy because of what God has done for them. Yeah, how you're supposed to live our lives as Christians. You don't have to be down all the time by what you perceive. <clears throat> Alright, let's talk. Your happy spirit dictates what goes on around you. People who don't laugh don't do so because they are burdened by negative thoughts, worries, and cares of this world. And the Bible makes us understand that be of good cheer, for we have overcome, for I have overcome the world. Sorry. They worry about what people think of them, what school they'll go to, if they'll pass the exams, or if their parents love them as they say. They even begin to look older than they should. But the Bible says in Proverbs 17 verse 22, Being cheerful keeps you healthy. It's a slow death to be gloomy all the time. People that are always looking so depressed like they are struggling in life or they are so frustrated. The Bible is making us understand that that is going to cause you what a slow death. But you always have to be filled with joy, joy from the spirit, so that you live a cheerful and happy life. So refuse to allow the circumstances of life to determine how cheerful or happy you are. It doesn't matter the situation. Maybe sometimes you might be laughing and then people will think that you are going mad or that kind of thing. But they don't understand. You are filled with joy from your spirit, so you are expressing that kind of joy. When the first situations come by, that's the time to laugh and shout. Just look at the situation and then just see. The way we don't understand that we are overcoming. So just look at the situation and do that. Yes, this problem I've already overcome it. <laughs> the opening scripture shows us God is a happy God. He laughs and expects his children to do the same. Even when there's trouble, no wonder he says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. That's taken from James chapter 1, verse 2 in the New International Version of the Bible. Learning to laugh at the enemy in face of adversity is the mindset of victors. It's just like me hearing when somebody is comes to me that comes to maybe beat me or win against me, that kind of thing. When I know that I'm so good in it or I've already won the victory, that kind of laugh just comes from my spirit. Like, ha! But what he's saying, it's, it's kind of like a joke. I already know what I'm about. Look for a place where you can be alone. Pull a chair. Sit down and think about nothing else. But God's goodness and begin laughing laugh like the king that you are before long that laughter will come from your spirit God will literally laugh through your spirit and soon 
the challenges before you will fade away. And you find yourself speaking God's word that will change things. How true. You'll be laughing so much that you just start to quote the scriptures. And all the problems are going to fade away. Paul lets us understand that the problems we face are just like afflictions. Now, when we read Romans chapter 14, verse 17. Romans. Romans 14 verse 17 in the King James Version says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. What is the scripture trying to tell us? It says that for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. That means the righteousness of God is what? Joy in the Holy Ghost. It's not just any meat and drink something, but righteousness and peace as well. Some people express joy when something nice happens to them, but that should be issue. You should always express joy every time and everywhere that you go. What is the kingdom of God? Joy. That's the kind of message you should be carrying. Let everybody be full of that kind of joy. Let it become so contagious so that everybody around you becomes so happy. The three major things which express the joy are singing, shouting, and dancing. The way I will sing a song will determine how happy I am. If I sing it, oh, you think that I'm sad, but if I am shouting and I'm singing it so loud and proud, you know that yes, I'm happy. If I if I shout so loud, like somebody, I just hear that maybe someone bought me something. I'm shouting so much that shows how happy I am. And then dance, where I move my body and everything that shows how happy I am. Go deep. Job chapter 5 verse 22 He says At distraction and fun Thou shalt laugh Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth The Bible is making us know that These kind of things are not going to affect us in any way When you see it, you just laugh And then our second scripture is taken from 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 8 1 verse 8 And it says whom having not seen, ye love him. Whom go now, ye see him not. Yet believing, ye rejoice with joy. Unspeakable and full of joy. You haven't seen the end results of whatever you are doing. Maybe you've seen a problem, but that shouldn't be there. The Bible makes us understand that for you walk by faith, not by sight. So you haven't seen what is at the end of the past. You must show the kind of job because you know that you have overcome the situation. Now to today's confession. The joy of the Lord is my strength. That joy bears forth through me in the freshest streams of laughter and rejoicing. No circumstance steals my joy, for my heart is filled with unspeakable joy as I celebrate my victory in Christ. Now for today's act. Must you laughing all by yourself and see how the glory of God will be revealed in your life today? Laugh now. This is all the time I have to say. I see. Thank you all for watching. God is here. Hope to see you here another time. All questions can be dropped in the comment section.